Good morning everyone, I'm in Hamburg right now. Yesterday I arrived to Hamburg to just to sleep in a hostel. Then I just woke up so early today, it's 8 o'clock right now. And uh, the first thing that I've done was to eat something. Then I uh, moved to see the dock of Hamburg. Here I am. The public transportation over here is not very good because I faced some problems while I'm coming here. I don't know, maybe because of Google Maps, maybe because they didn't explain it so good. I will assume it is because of the public transportation plan of Hamburg because I never left that kind of a thing with Google Maps before. So I will just assume it is because of Hamburg's organization for the public transportation. Let me show you the containers over there. I can tell that there is a little mountain of containers. Now I'm going to the more exciting parts of the city. Let the Hamburg tour begin in the center of Hamburg. So I'm at the city center right now and uh, this street is called Mönkeburgstrasse. Probably one of the most beautiful Starbucks I've ever seen. So when I arrived to the city yesterday, my first impression for the city was not that good because probably it's about my preference about the cities because I don't like big cities. I cannot live in a big city. I don't like big cities at all. Like in Istanbul, for instance, even if I go for a touristic purpose, after some days I feel very, very bored and I don't feel like uh, that much of crowd is a good thing for people generally but some people like it but I'm not one of them so uh, what we have over here is the Hauptkirche so if Hauptbahnhof is main train station so Hauptkirche must be the main church the reason why I couldn't get a good vibe from this city in the first impression I guess it's because it was so dirty. So probably the worst main train station I've ever seen in Germany is in Hamburg. It's so dirty, like a lot of beggars around there. It feels so bad. I, it feels even terrifying for some people. So what we have behind is the Rathaus, which is the town hall. I've seen the one in Munich, I've seen the one in Hannover, also in Leipzig, but I don't have the video of it yet. Once you don't like something about a city, I mean, you tend to say, this city is a bad city, this city is not beautiful, I don't like that city. I try to force myself not to have those kind of prejudices. Like I told you, my first impression was not that good, but right now, when I arrived to this Altus, Altstadt, Altstadt, I believe, uh, the town hall and the main kirche, main church, and these parts of Hamburg, it is alright. It's a good place. One of the things about Hamburg is, wherever you are, you can come across with a water canal. Actually, it's like that in other German cities as well, especially in Leipzig. At the very city center, there's a cool thing. I mean, there are canals between the buildings. It feels like Venice, in a sense. The view that I'm gonna show you now impresses me. It's so good. I have a road on Google Maps, but like, I'm walking randomly right now, but wherever I go, I see a water canal. And the common thing about that is, they're so dirty. Water over here is so fucking dirty. If this many populated city has that kind of a canal, I guess it's inevitable. And Hamburg's population is nearly 2 million. It's a big city, I didn't know that.
This is another church. It's called Katerin Kirche. Katerin Kirche. <laughs> Katerin Church. Uh, <laughs> Uh, in, in the Munich video uh, with Tolga, we were saying that we owe art to religion. I guess it's true, like look at the architecture over here. So if they didn't want to construct this kind of buildings, I think like it, this kind of architecture wouldn't develop itself. I'm right now on my way to the Hauptbahnhof, the main train station, but on my road there is a nice, beautiful street with another church. So the name of the church is Jacobi Church, Jacobi Kirche, and it looks good as well. Now, get ready to see the ugliest, dirtiest Hofbahnhof in Germany. You can say that from outside, this Hofbahnhof looks good. Yes, indeed it does. But when you go inside, I spent half an hour to find S3, S-Bahn, like another, something like an underground. I don't feel like it's well organized. I see homeless people everywhere and also people who come to mess up with you and disturb you, you know. I don't like it and it smells like pee over here. So I will say goodbye to you for this video. I'm going to take the train to go to Bremen right now and I will take a video there as well. Then the next destination will be Dortmund. I don't know how long will I keep this going but I feel exhausted. You know what? That's why we are young. So I will push as hard as I can. Anyways, see you in next video. So probably in Bremen.